Yeah, just first of all, uh, congratulations on, on the performance. Thank you. Um, debut performance, of course. Cheers, thank you. Uh, yeah, talk me through it. Um, how did you feel? Um, it was alright. It was. Um, I, I think um, for for my standards, I think it was just average, maybe a bit below average. I made little basic mistakes, um, but uh, that will come obviously within time. Uh, was I, your debut? To be yeah, fair. it was my debut. No, but do you, do you know what it is? Yeah, is that I, I got standards, man, and um, my standards are my standards, and um, I can't help it. I can't help it. My goal isn't just to like come here and just like probably be British champ. My goal is world champ. That's it. There isn't. Like, that's it, you see what I'm saying? So that's why my mindset is the way it is. So I always kind of be hard on myself. Even if I probably do good, I'll still find something always negative to say. Out of it, what, what would you say, not say you did wrong, but what you're not exactly happy with? Uh, I could have slipped a bit more, blocked a bit more, waited a little bit too long. Um, just just probably the, just that. that nah, nothing to do with atmosphere. Nothing to do with atmosphere. That's okay. nothing. That didn't phase it. It's just in there, I just... Um, I kind of went a little bit off course, a little bit off course in it, so uh, probably a little bit more emotionally. Um, which you had a lot of people supporting you. Yeah, man, those are my people, those are my dog, them, so, um, yeah, but um, I'm just really just trying to, I, I just want to just set a good, start, start a good way, that's all it is, and mean as I go, so. Coaches, anyone else want to kind of come in? What, 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 you know, what was your assessment? Obviously, debut. You know. I'm, I'm pleased. I know he's going to be hard on himself. But he's had three years out. Um, it took quite a long time to get here. Um, so, with all that in mind, oh, I'm pretty pleased. It was solid. There's things we can go back to the gym and work on, of course. You said you had three years out. Was that um, oh, from your uh, amateurs? Yeah, amateurs, yeah, amateurs to, to now. Yeah. And then obviously, I would have been out a long, long time ago. But I've had a few other things, obviously, in circumstances that yeah. weren't. I've had to deal with before I even got started, but um, I stayed dedicated and I sacrificed what I needed to sacrifice to get here. So, yeah. In regards to your amateur, just, just briefly, like, to tell us a little bit like, how long you amateur for Oh, you I was an amateur. How long, man? Uh, yeah. well, I was 18, 17, 18. I was at Battersea ABC for most of my career in uh, South West London. Then the last two years I went to Islington and then I kind of stopped and I fell out of love with boxing for a bit. And, um, like, uh, box and politics. Um, <laughs> box and politics. And um, uh, it just it came to a realization I know what I really want to do and fight like this is what I really want to do. It's, it's kept me out of trouble. Um, not to sound like just like every everyone's story, but it's literally that man. If it, like like I'm saying, if it wasn't for this, um, I, but I couldn't tell you where I'd be still. So this has really like directed my life um, very positively, and I'm just uh, end of the day people like come from where I come from is just to show that you know it's not what happens in like your past that defines how you move forward. So it's just about you just keep working, keep moving forward, and just keep just making yourself um, push yourself forward, man. You're gonna have obstacles and that, but it is what it is. It's life, isn't it? If you stop, you only stay where you are, so you can never improve. So is that the reason that you, you went, you know, you turned turn professional? Yeah, because I, I realised, yo, like, I love to fight. I've been fighting since before boxing. Um, why not make some money of it? But it, as when I started, I honestly only went to punch people. That was it. Purely and pure and simple. Like, not nothing... That, that's, what, that, that's what it was. <laughs> I went to go punch... <laughs> that's what I went to go exactly. do, punch people and fight. And oh, it's just, oh, as oh, I've got into there, it was kind of just like... I started to fall in love with it. I was like, right, like there's a lot more to learn about this and there's a lot more. I met some tremendous people, man, um, from starting boxing, like lifelong people that I'll never, like, like they'll be my friends forever, man. Um, they really helped me in my career. We all come from different backgrounds and, you know, um, it's been nice. So I got a lot, I got a lot to thank boxing for, really. Is, is there any particular boxer that you, you look up to? Or you, oh, Andre Wood. Yeah? Yeah, that's my guy, man. That's my guy, Andre Wood. I got to meet him in 2017 when he came over to the UK after he beat Kovalev the first time. So, and then um, just a little brief talk so on him. So, he commentating for the Ubank? Um, it might have been, and he went to Fixture Lodge, and he was down there, so I went and seen him down there. That was in February, if I remember. Um, but yeah, that's, Andre Wood is my, that's my... And your weight going forward, middleweight? Yeah, always yeah. be middleweight, yeah, yeah, yeah. middleweight. Um, obviously, uh, just, just, just finally, what, what, uh, what are we going to kind of see you out next, hopefully? We're hoping to have uh, T-Boxing again within the next few weeks. 
Now we've got him going, we want to keep him going. He's keen, he's down the gym, he's working away, you know, work, works and works and works. And we want to keep him, now it's rolling, we want to keep it rolling. Is he signed to Mo British? Well, no, I'm, he's signed with me. Signed with it, okay. Yeah. Right. We're, we're, we're independent, we're not, we'll box for any promoter, you know. We're independent, we want, he wants to work, he wants to fight. Yeah. We're independent, you know, we'll do whatever needs doing. Um, I won't say uh, funny, but uh, do, do you want to give like a um, shout out to any sponsors on social media? So oh, um, so sponsors, I want to share Shreya Moore, if you look at the logo on the back, you know, the t-shirts, um, I want to shout out to uh, Big Ma in um, uh, Sudbury uh, Martial Arts and Chinese Chinese Martial Arts uh, Club, and I want to shout out to no, no, Batsy no, ABC as well, um, uh, Mel Simmons and everyone down at the gym. From my from my started, they've been supportive. From my left, oh, they've been supportive, like and I just got nothing but love and thankfulness for all my sponsors and everyone oh, that supports me. Thank you for this interview. Yeah, as well. so, social yeah. media, so people can follow you. Okay. Oh, social media. Um, Titan Boxing. Um, at the bottom. Yep. Uh, that's my Instagram. I don't really have Twitter. I have Twitter, but I don't really use it. And um, Snapchat is same thing. Uh, Titan Boxing uh, one.